municipal relief last week. Uh, I did go to a hearing. There was testimony that was offered about the health insurance exactly as uh, Senator Tyre indicated this evening. It was by far the most prominent issue that was discussed at length. And um, the good news, it um, did appear that the uh, legislators who were present understood our predicament and um, several of them were quite um, interested in seeing change. Um, there was also a suggestion that was made about the prevailing wage law. Um, it seems as though the legislature is uh, unwilling to look at that. However, I suggested that a suspension of the prevailing wage law uh, might be helpful especially helpful in the sense that there's probably a backlog of a lot of projects that people can't afford to do. But if they realize that there could be a 30 to 40 percent savings, those projects might be able to move forward, um, which in turn would create jobs on the local level and make everyone happy. So um, it was just a suggestion. I don't know if it's going to go anywhere or not. People kind of nodded their heads, but it was something that they had to make a suggestion. And then the other item that I talked about was um, giving management the uh, additional responsibilities to um, prevent layoffs. And uh, as you know, oftentimes collective bargaining agreements are very specific about the work hours and the hours of the, uh, that a, a uh, employee is to work. And uh, I think many towns are um, attempting to establish creative solutions, whether they are work furloughs or wage freezes. All of those are done in the interest of providing a, a level of service to the employee town, but also in an effort to protect our employees from layoff. Um, one of the suggestions was that they may want to grant some additional rights to cities and towns in the interest of trying to preserve jobs, uh, where sometimes unions don't necessarily have the same interests. And, uh, so it was a suggestion that was made. Um, we shall see. And uh, lastly, Senator Tyre did make reference to the Senate amendment on uh, collective bargaining obligations related to the missile health insurance plan. And go through that lengthy list of Senate amendments, you'll see that there are things in there about $50,000 for this town and another 100000 for special projects. And I recommend Senator Tarr for not putting any of that stuff in the budget. He did a very fine job. I've already talked about the health insurance rates. So I can uh, skip over that. And then the uh, uh, last issue I'd like to discuss with the board is uh, a matter of an executive session relating to uh, collective bargaining or litigation strategy. When the time comes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Next item on our agenda is uh, all the new business. The only thing that I uh, have this evening is uh, most people probably had seen on the news the uh, tragic accident in the MBTA last uh, Friday evening. Uh, it was fortunate to be, or mis misfortunate of his, but fortunate for the other members of the on the T that night was a member of our uh, firefighters who was there. Although injured himself, he assisted for quite a long period of time. Uh, the other injured people that were there and actually reported to duty about three or four hours after being released himself from the hospital. And I uh, just want to commend uh, it's by, by a Carter, I believe, who uh, uh, offered his services. So it's, it's appreciated. That's all I have. <coughs> That's all. Steve? Um, I was also going to uh, congratulate Firefighter Carter for his, uh, for his about the celebrity. And, uh, but it also uh, highlights the, the North Reading Fire Department, the staff that we have there, and specifically uh, Firefighter Carter, a terrific reflection on himself as a, kind of as a character, but also on the, on the department. He's certainly credited for that. The other thing is I just wanted to uh, go the opportunity to publicly thank everybody for uh, giving me the opportunity to serve for another three years. I look forward to it. I look forward to serving with Mr. Ewell, the best members of the board. To putting forth the same amount of effort, if not more, to uh, meet the challenges ahead. I look forward to doing it together with my colleagues here in the board. Thank you so much. Mr. Ewell, Well, I too would like to uh, uh, congratulate uh, uh, 
uh, Fireman Carter for uh, showing how good the fire department here is, is here in North Reading and the people that uh, work in that department. Also, uh, I want to thank uh, the citizens of North Reading for uh, giving me an opportunity to serve them in the best way I possibly can. And I'm very excited about working on a board that is made up of very sincere individuals who want to do good things uh, for the community. And I hope that uh, I compliment them in their efforts. So that's it, thank you. Okay, uh, my compliments to uh, Firefighter Carter. I, you know, I saw him on the news uh, uh, shuttling uh, uh, somebody brief venue of that caught my eye and then obviously uh, there was more to be said uh, and I, I think it exemplifies uh, uh, what a firefighter does when an emergency comes up. It just seems like they, they just know what to do and they jump into action and, uh, part of their, uh, their, uh, their job and it seems to be you know, just something natural that what to do and uh, just react, which is kind of amazing. Uh, I want to remind everybody of our Memorial Day uh, ceremonies uh, this Monday uh, and the parade. And uh, I'm hoping that all of our fellow board members will uh, join me uh, in the march. Uh, we've also been invited for a photo session and a flag raising at 9.30 that morning. Nine. Thursday. To respond. I'm sorry, no. Photo shoots at 9 30, you're right. Yeah. They're raising the flag at 9. They're raising the flag at 9. So if you can and you're interested, be at the uh, common at 9 o'clock. <laughs> uh, other than that, uh, I welcome our new members, uh, new member and uh, our returning member <laughs> to the board. I look forward to working with uh, you this, uh, this year and uh, for the full length of your terms. Uh, the uh, and I also thank you for uh, having confidence in me uh, to repeat being chair this year. I'll state that again publicly. Uh, I'm concerned, sort of chairman for life. <laughs> the paper already got no there. objection the from this end of the table. The I'm glad it wasn't <laughs> on the front page. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so with that, I will entertain a motion to adjourn to an executive session for the purpose of collective bargaining. Mr. Chairman, I move to enter into executive session for the purposes of collective bargaining and further the Board of Selectmen will return to open session thereafter for the sole purpose of adjournment. Second that. Motion made by Mr. Yule, second by Mr. O'Leary. Mr. O'Leary? Aye. Mr. Yule? Aye. Mr. Delaney? Aye. Chair votes aye. Let's take a two or three minute break. While yes, please. We'll let the, uh, <laughs> my first experience in this is that if you have to use the bathroom, 